Dr. Chakrabarty, where are we now in what is what are we calling this? The sixth wave? Yeah, and you know, look, you know, I, I've been thinking to myself like how much longer we're going to be doing this in terms of look, yeah, we know that respiratory viruses wave. That's what their their kind of natural history is. And every time a wave happens, if we're constantly focusing on it and declaring it and not realizing the big differences that we have now compared to a year ago, yes, people unfortunately are getting sick, but to a much lesser degree than previous thanks to things like uh, vaccines, immunity from infection, and also therapeutics that we now have. So I think that it's important for us, I think, at this point to change our perspective and not be so worried uh, when cases rise and fall. All right. Well, that naturally, beautifully uh, leads me to my next question. The numbers of up to 120,000 cases of COVID a day are being estimated. So based on what you just said, I would think you're not concerned. I'm not in that. Look, I don't want people to get sick, of course, but we yeah. know respiratory viruses are a natural part of life and uh, they, they coexist with us. And the thing is, if we're seeing that many cases, and yes, we are seeing a rise in hospitalizations, but we have to look at a bit deeper in that, just past the numbers. We're seeing the people that are coming in are nowhere near as sick as they were uh, a year ago. Uh, you know, I've, I've seen 90 year olds that have come in a year ago. They would have unfortunately died. Now they're coming in a little bit of oxygen and, yeah. you know, they get better and offer are sent home. So I think we have to look beyond the numbers, look at the context, and just look at the fact that we are in a much better position. We're going to see these waves uh, for, for months to come. But that doesn't mean that we constantly need to uh, call for bringing back masks and restrictions. So what does Dr. Chakrabarty advise to, to our viewers now? This is, is this a new normal? Uh, and I ask this in the vein of a lot of folks wondering about the restrictions that still remain in place. We have the mask restrictions still in place in some areas, uh, capacity restrictions. What are your thoughts on that? I, I think it's important for us to realize I am not saying COVID is over. Okay. It's going to be with us, but we are in a different phase now. I think we need to take it out of our front view mirror. We have, uh, we know uh, the things we can do to protect ourselves, but we also know that uh, the restrictions, all these things that we had for the past two years in places that didn't have them, they did uh, almost the same. I don't think they have the impact that we think they do. And in many cases, they can harm, especially marginalized individuals and those who can't work from home. So I think now it, it's, uh, a personal risk assessment of what you do. Uh, if you want to wear a mask, you can wear one that's well-fitting, mm -hmm. especially if you have certain types of health conditions. And let's go forward and, uh, uh, you know, remember that respiratory viruses have been with us long before COVID, even ones that can harm us. And we lived with that in, in harmony previously, and we can do it again. Okay, great information. As always, infectious disease specialist, Dr. Suman Chakrabarti. Thank you, sir. Thanks.